What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amara and I am coming at you guys with a dorm room apartment tour with two bedrooms, okay? But yeah, without further ado, I want y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you are returning, what is up my AB game for lifers? Period. All right, so now enough of all this talking because y'all know I can talk too much. Let's get into this video. I am moving out of this room officially. No more small room, no more cooking stove, y'all. Yeah, so like I mentioned, you guys, um, I'm moving out of this old room. So glad because it was just so small, but it was also, it was a good experience, you know? Just to know that if you're able to handle a space like this, that means you're able to handle other spaces. Um, by a fake stove, I was meaning like I was using a plug-in stove. So basically like my living room was my kitchen. Um, the building did have a kitchen, but you know, in the in the room. I just wanna show y'all I'm getting somewhere. Yes. It already sounds echoey a little bit. So I'm done with this part, you guys. Now I gotta do this. As y'all can see that I had recently just moved out of my old dorm room and um, now I'm in my new dorm room for the summertime. I didn't even pick up my camera to record anything. I just moved it straight in here. But I can give y'all a brief look at how it looks. Please do not mind, this stuff is everywhere. It's going to be for Centennial Housing at the University of Minnesota Crookston. If you have interest and in wanting to know about the other videos that I have of other buildings. I will put that video right here for you guys. That video I do have for heritage housing. So, but this is Centennial and this is floor one. This is Centennial. This is like considered the lounge area for students to be. And um, they have bathrooms. They may have a classroom in in this hall as well. Um, they have another bathroom right here. And um, here's another entrance of the building. And down this hall is rooms. You go upstairs. And so like I said, down this hall is more rooms than it ends at the end. And then this is another lounge upstairs area. They do have workout areas for you to work out. Um, they do have a laundry slash recycling. Let's see if I can turn on the light. Okay. And so this is how the laundry's room look. All that good stuff. A nice view where you can see the outside of the campus. Like I did mention, they did have exercise stuff. So this is the upstairs. Um, other rooms and stuff, you know. And I, I'm assuming this is like a half little lounge area for students to sit. They don't want to be in their rooms. There's a downstairs going, that, these are stairs to go back downstairs. Okay, every time I notice <laughs> when I'm editing my videos, I be breathing mad hard. Like, <laughs> I have no clue what that be about. So don't ask me. <laughs> um, so right here is another laundry room slash recycling. I also forgot to mention that laundry is free in all the residence halls on campus no matter what building you in are in laundry is free and that's what i love the most so like i did mention in previous clips um i did just move in and had stuff scattered everywhere um but i did want to give you guys a brief look of how everything looks before i actually set it up um this right here is the first bathroom for the first bedroom then you have your closet 
right there kind of like a walk-in closet then you have the two bedrooms like i said this is will be considered a four person room two people in each room but no one stayed with me i was all by myself so but i just want to show you guys how it would look if you were to come here you know and stuff like that minus all the stuff being everywhere so yeah and I definitely love the walk-in closet, you know. I love that. I love it. I love it. And I'll get more in-depth about everything and where stuff is at in the room. So please stay tuned and watch the video to the end because I will be giving you details on how everything is set up and more information about One thing I can say about the room and how long it took me to unpack and stuff, it took me roughly probably about like two days at the most. Um, it could have been one day, but you know, I like to give myself space and stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay, so here I am with uh, Donnie. He's a CA at the University of Minnesota of Crookston as well. And um, like I said, I did move and unpack and pack everything by myself. But right here, what we're about to do is loft your bed. And that literally means move your bed up or down. And um, that's something I need like a men help with. Um, trust me, I, I'm like so independent. So it's just like this right here is sus you're going to need help with, you know? So that is what he's doing. Um, and I thank him and I, God bless his heart for helping me. <laughs> and I know some people might say like, you only be in there for the summertime while you're doing all this. But if you know me, for one, I'm extra. <laughs> and for two, I just don't care. And for three, I like to feel comfortable wherever I'm at. And that was key to me is just to make sure I feel comfortable and at home. And I feel like your bedroom is the most important space for me. That's my personal so opinion. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And let's, like, talk about it. Your girl looking very curvy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed. I want to get some flake, fake flower ishy things. So, get this. And um, yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna tune back in with you guys when I got all of the items that I want. And I am done. I'm out of here. Stay tuned to see the finished look of my apartment. Bye. We're going to get into the apartment tour, okay, you guys? So, you know, I got the little welcome sign, period, right? We're going to cover my room number. You see that? C-A. Yeah, so let's get into it, guys. Oh, one thing about these doors, you always have to have your key because these doors automatically lock. Regardless if it's locked or not, it automatically, it's like a hotel door. 
Okay. And so this is how it looks. Here's the kitchen when you first come in. There's the door. I like to hang my keys up. Uh, this is how the door and stuff looks. Um, I do have little appliances here. So I kind of keep little dishes and stuff. We have a microwave. This is only for the summertime. So I didn't want to put too much because I knew I'll have to take it right back down in August. So yeah, you know, stuff here. Come around, we have a dishwasher in the room as well. You're gonna have a two sink sink in the kitchen. Um, have a drying rack right here. Just other utensils. This is where I keep the pots and pans. And you see how they got a little bar top right here that is so cute to me. Yeah, this is the kitchen. And so when you first come in, there is a bathroom because this is a two bedroom. So this is the bathroom that I have right here. Um, I did decide to like make it a little fancy, although I do not use this bathroom at all. Um, I do not use this bathroom because I have my own bathroom. You see, there's nothing in here. But like I said, I am staying in a two bedroom apartment style. So there will definitely be times where it looks like there's two of everything, but I do have anything in here as if someone was to use the bathroom. Okay. Um, that, we'll get back into that. Y'all gonna, I'm gonna show I'm gonna tell y'all why we're gonna get back into that. Don't mind why it's no tissue right there, like I said, I don't use that. Then you come right here, it's like your pantry. So right here, I have little cleaning stuff that I may need on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you got your trash can, you got your recycling right here. Y'all know what, what black person don't got this? Every black person got a drawer with plastic bags. I don't wanna hear it. And then right here, I decided to put my waters and stuff like that, right? So, after I'm done work right here, we're gonna go into the second room. Now, like I said, this was a two bedroom, but I made it my office. I don't know if you guys remember the video I was telling y'all that I made a room my office, but I don't like how it kind of looks. But I do work in here every, every day because I work from home. Uh, I'm a college student, I do YouTube. And so this is the room where I do all my editing and stuff is at. Um, I decided to put this behind me. Like I said, there's not too much stuff up because I have to take all this stuff completely back down. So, you know, here I have, you know, I set this up. These do come with a headlight like that one over there, but I took this one off and I used my ring light. This is a old ring light that I use. And you know, you just got affirmations and stuff going on here and stuff like that. Um, and then over here, we just, I just left that bed there. I don't need to take it, but this room did come with two bedrooms. Like I showed y'all in the video before y'all saw the before and after video. Um, this is another little area I just made. Okay. And so this is the other side that I decided to put, um, you know, it's just, it's like, this is like very semi, I just need to get comfortable for the summertime. So this is my way of getting comfortable for the summertime, right? Right. So, you know, this is what it is. This is like, I consider a storage space for all my stuff that I use. Um, and these are all the stuff that I did not want to put up or even deal with because I know I was moving back out. Here's that additional bed that I told y'all I took out from my desk space. Um, this is the bathroom. Right here, I was just telling y'all about. You see, there goes the kitchen. So that's why I said we're gonna get back to that. So when you live in a two bedroom, you're gonna have your own kitchen. I mean, you're gonna have your own bathroom. You're gonna have your own space. You're gonna have your own everything you need, um, but you will be sharing the room with someone else. But on the other half, this is your space. The other half meaning this side of the room is where the people are gonna stay. So. Let's get into the living room. This is the living room. Um, your apartments and stuff, any housing at Crookston comes furnished. Everything comes furnished. Anything you need, it comes furnished. You will have to figure out other little things like TVs and stands and stuff. Um, I decided to put that lamp there. You have your 
air conditioner, whatever this case may be. This right here is a window. I decided to put my things right here that I like to just look at every morning. I love this view. So if you live in Centennial and you live on the other side, you will get a nice view of the campus. Um, I got a little mirror going on right here and it comes with a lot of chairs and here's the kitchen. So yeah, like I said, like this is pretty, pretty roomy for a college student. Absolutely. Especially if y'all not paying, this is a plus. I love it, you know, and more to come. So yeah, and then this is my room, okay? Now y'all saw the video that I had put before on what we had to go through. We had to go through a lot, but I like it because it's big. I did put my beds together. Like I said, each room comes with two beds. I put my beds together. Um, they're so cute, you know, and I got me some, some rug, incense stuff going on. Decided to put like, you know, you know, little stuff that you need. Obviously, I journal right before I go to bed every night. And I got the Bible right there. You want to read the word when you wake up and before you go to sleep. Um, got a little deck tour right there by the window. Don't like too much people in my business. That's why it's not wide open. Of course, I am watching myself, period. And so this is a TV. Um, like I said, uh, these things do come with stuff over it. I took them off. Definitely nothing underneath here because I just used the other room for my storage. And so this room does have a bathroom too as well. First, let's get into the pantry though. And then here is the pantry. So I just made it comfortable for me for the summertime. And then you have your mirrors going on right here. And you got a sink. So it's very important to make sure you have your vitamins, things that you use on a daily. Got my toothbrush. That's a sink towel that I wipe the sink with. And then you open this and you do able to have space to put other stuff here. Um, so that's why I decided to put here. So yeah, you got that. You got your pantry. And then you open here and this is the bathroom, right? So this is the bathroom. This is my bathroom that I use. Um, I decided to make it cute or whatever to my liking. Um, so yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty roomy. I had all of this whole apartment space to myself. So, um, but just be mindful that it won't look like this if you if you move into Centennial with roommates. Just be mindful that it will look like this, but the way I have it set up, as if one person lives here, it will not look like that. The, the video I showed y'all before is how it would look if you had a roommate. And then let's get into the closet. This is my favorite place of the whole apartment because it is in a walk-in closet, which I love dearly. So you just come in. I have the shelf right here of all my cubbies of stuff that I need. And then I just put my shoes right here. I have a lot, way more shoes back home, but these are the shoes that I have here for now. And then this is like my row of purses that I have for now, whatever the case may be. And I just got a little stand right here for my uh, everyday stuff, perfume, jewelry, all that good stuff. And obviously right here, you got your underwear. You got your everyday shirts, everyday bottoms. And then you have your sleeping clothes, right? So like I definitely told you guys, I love this walk-in closet. It is so beautiful. This is something I would want in my house in general, a walk-in closet. Pick what I want, literally get ready, get dressed, everything right here. Put anything in the dirty clothes that need to be dirty clothes, you know? And then, boom, and you walk back out, period. Okay, so I did want to pop in and just give you guys a little advice. Um, when moving to college, if you're a college student and you're coming over across this video and you're moving into college for the first time, I will highly recommend, like highly recommend, the less you pack would be the better. Like you would save yourself from a lot of stress, at least from my experience, packing a lot. I don't know people's situations and why they got to pack a lot. 
coming to school so I can't judge nobody on that but if you can do so pack less I'm telling you it's way better another idea is if you have to pack a lot to school over the summertime you can get storage space or rent out storage space from either at school our school does it or you can do it at a local provider of storage space but I will suggest that too if you have to pack a lot but just get to a conclusion of not packing a lot when you come to school um that is just way better the less the best period review of how things look here um i definitely like that it's so light in it got a lot of light a lot of open space i love this bar kind of thing right here that is so amazing to me this is how it looks like, and this is what I am. And this is where I work at each and every day. All of that stuff. You see, trust in the Lord is already done. So when y'all just feeling a little awkward and stuff or whatever the case may be, don't even stress or worry about it. Cause just know that it's already done. The Lord loves us. And we gonna like exit out. Now y'all need to leave. You need to go. Go, go. Leave, leave, leave. Okay, so now that y'all got an overview of how the apartment and everything looks, I hope this is helpful. I did this video because I want students to know what these rooms are looking like before they come to this school. You know, you search this school, you don't see nothing no dorm room tours no nothing about this school so i decided to make these videos helpful for someone who ever come across these videos so